is Dr. David Albert at uh, the Digital Health Summit at CES 19, and it is my honor and privilege to interview my friend Steve LaBeouf, the president and co-founder right. of Valencell. Thank you much. Thank you, Steve. Well, tell me, you've been a pioneer in the wearable heart rate, heart rate space. What's new at CES 2019? Well, for valence cell, what's particularly new is what we've been doing in hearables, particularly in hearing aids. We've seen the first biometric hearing aid launch at CES this year with Starkey, using our technology for the biometric monitoring in the earpieces. And then also, we have the first prototype demonstrated today of an in-ear RIC device. We call it the Biomet RIC that tracks your biometrics in a hearing aid device. So now we finally get getting to see the, the peanut butter and chocolate of biometric monitoring and, and hearing augmentation in the same device. There's a lot of comorbidities that are associated with hearing loss. For example, you're three times more likely in your age category to have a cardiovascular issue if you have hearing loss. Three times more likely to have diabetes. About one and a half more likely chance of having visual impairment. A number of comorbidities. So you can track people with the device they're already wearing and, and help prevent a costly medical outcome. You can, you can improve public health at a lower cost, and that's what has the payers interested in these, these ear-worn devices, these hearing aids that have the biometrics built in. Yeah, that, that makes complete sense, because as a physician, I know that presbycusis, age-related hearing loss, the largest reason is an age-related phenomenon, as is heart disease, diabetes, et cetera. So it makes complete sense to me that this would be a way of putting extra vigilance in a product that they need to make their life better anyway. Yeah, there's, there's the monitoring aspect and also there's the combination of the, the biometrics with the hearing augmentation, where you would use the biometrics as a way to improve the hearing. For example, one, one of the technologies that's been developed is a technology where, you know, say I'm talking to you, right? The hearing device will focus on me talking to you and, and narrow down or, or damp down the 360 sounds around me. But then when I get up to go to the bathroom or move around, I want to hear that stuff. And so the technology looks at what you're doing and changes the way you hear based on that, which is something your brain normally would do. But one of the causes of hearing loss is associated with your brain and cognitive decline in certain areas that you can't do this on your own. And, and another is changing the way you listen based off the, your stress response. And all these things are only come into fruition because of the combination of accurate biometrics in these ear-worn devices where you can provide the hearing augmentation and use these, these hearing augmentation technologies and leverage that biometric sensing. Well, it, it makes complete sense to me. And I, I think another thing that's of interest to me is the integration of blood pressure monitoring. Oh, yeah. And so tell me a little bit about that. Okay, great. So at Valence Cell, we've been developing a blood pressure monitoring technology that's based off PPG only. It's based, based off the, the PPG sensor and the inertial sense, sensor readings. And we have data to show that we can meet the ISO standard for a calibrated, calibrated uh, blood pressure monitoring. So in other words, if you do a one-time calibration, right now the data we have only supports five weeks. So we don't know if you can go longer than that. We wouldn't necessarily recommend that. But it's not ready, it's not available for sale. We have the prototypes, we, we've allowed uh, independent testing. Of, of our device, and we have independent testing results. That's why we believe it. And frankly, even with our own internal data, it wouldn't be enough for us to believe it. So, so you, you ought to let me test it. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I, you know, I'll show you some of the data. Um, and in so one of the other things we're working on is in a calibration-free version. But in that calibration-free version, you need to enter your static biometrics. So, so we're. We have a lot of R&D in this area, and the big thing is collecting the right kind of data from the right people to make that really work. Well, that's all very exciting, and I think, uh, you know, you at Valence Health have been a pioneer in integrating your technology. You don't want to see what those arrows are right now. That's exactly right. The arrows in our backs as pioneers. We, we, uh, you and I together, my friend. Form of. Yeah. Uh, so this is, uh, this is, uh, you know, really interesting time, and I think. Uh, you're helping lead the way. So thank you, Steve. The, the, a lot of the, the proof in, in this market is in the put into the fact that people are actually starting to make money now. You know, that wasn't the case before. But, you know, we, we're seeing our revenues grow every year. I know y'all have seen it too. So this is a sign that there's a real market here. Yeah. Well, this is, uh, again, Dr. David Albert with Dr. Steve LaBeouf from Valencell and from the Digital Health Summit here at CES 19, hosted by Living in Digital Times. All right. Y'all have a good one.